Welcome to the magnum opus, the cream of the crop, the final destination, here we are. We're gonna learn how to develop all that time, money, and energy. That pays off right now. You and me, we're both learning. I haven't developed that much at all, so this is gonna be a learning experience for both of us. So how do we turn this finished roll of film into these glorious tones? All right, so for developing today, we're gonna to be using this C41 flick film kit, which luckily we've already mixed in a previous video. Would you look at that? All our chemicals nicely pre-mixed for us, ready and prime for development. So what even is C41? C41 is used to develop any color negative film of your heart's desire. You can tell if a film is color negative by looking for that little C41 mark on the film roll or box. It should go without saying, but these development steps do not work for black and white film or cinema film. But don't you worry for a second, because Flick Film has you covered with those exact kits. All right, so besides all the C41 chemicals that we have mixed already, we do need a few other instruments for developing. That's where my friend Sean here comes into play, and he's gonna toss me all the things we need for developing. So, first off, we need a change bag, because we need to be in complete darkness when we're loading our film a film roll opener to open our film in said dark bag, and a C41 film that is ready to be developed, Patterson tank, which will we be loading in the change bag and we use it for mixing and agitating the chemicals, a timer to make sure we are agitating the chemicals for the correct amount of time, a thermometer because certain chemicals need to be at a certain temperature before we can be begin development, some PPE such as some paper towel, some gloves, a mask, whatever at all for safety reasons, and lastly, we got a few heat-proof containers for heating said chemicals, and we will use this little device right here, the Flick Film Water Bath. Oh, I almost forgot. And a pair of scissors for cutting the film in the change bag. I just did not want those thrown at me. So, the first step to developing C41 is getting four out of five of these chemicals heated. The stabilizer does not need to be heated, so we just need to heat up the stop bath, the developer, the fix, and the bleach. Now, the storage bottles that we have the chemicals in need to be transferred over to containers that fit in our water bath. These containers are also designed to be heated up unlike our storage bottles. With our now four chemicals in these squarish containers labeled with each chemical inside, let's set up our water bath. With all that set up and done, let's set the temperature to 39 Celsius or 102 Fahrenheit and let that water bath do what it does best. In the meantime, we can focus on getting our film ready. In order to do that, we need to go into the darkness. By darkness, I mean this light proof change bag that I have. Then, these materials need to go in said change bag. An open Patterson tank, some film, a film opener, and a pair of scissors. With all those items inside, zip up the opening and give it a nice fold over. We are going to test how good your sense of touch is. To make this more visually appealing, as you literally can't see what I'm doing, I shall ruin a roll of film. As you put your arms in the bag, you're going to want to locate your film and film opener. Crack open that piece of plastic and carefully remove the film, trying to only touch the edges of the film. Locate the snippers in the bag and snip the corners of the film roll so it loads smoother into the reel. Find the Patterson reel and line up the start of the film with the ball bearings on the reel. Slowly rock back and forth and the film should smoothly wind up. Something I learned is that it's a very good idea to practice this step as it takes some time getting used to. Totally foreshadowing later in the video. With the full film on the reel, snip the end part attached to the film canister. The film is now ready to go in the Patterson tank. The order goes center column, film reel, and then funnel. Rotate the funnel clockwise to lock into place, and then add the light seal pancake on top, and just like that, we're good to go back into the light. Might seem weird, but I put my Patterson tank in the water bath, along with the other chemicals, just so temperature is not affected when I pour chemicals in it. The Patterson seems to like to float, so I shall weigh it down with the stabilizer. After a bit of time, when I check the temperature, we are at a perfect 39 Celsius, and it's go time. Hold up, you, you know what these chemicals are actually doing to the film, right? Well, no sweat, I'll quickly run through it. Developer. In simple terms, this chemical makes the picture appear on the negative. 
In non-simple terms, it reacts with the metallic silver in the film and brings out the hues on the negative. Stop Bath Just as the name implies, the purpose of the Stop Bath is to stop the developer dead in its tracks to avoid overdeveloping. Bleach The purpose of the bleach is to help get rid of the metallic silver that's still on the film thanks to the developer. It converts the silver to a silver halide, and that's where the fixer comes in. The fixer is able to wash away all that silver halide that the bleach converted for us. The last chemical. Stabilizer helps your negative dry without any spots or water streaks, and also helps your film from deteriorating over time. Now that we know what these chemicals do, let's put them to good use. First step, developer. Pour developer into the Patterson and then seal the top and invert continuously for 10 seconds as I am doing right now. Next, set your timer for 3 minutes and 30 seconds and do 4 inversions every 30 seconds, also as I am doing right now, till the timer goes off. To save you the time, I did the other inversions off camera as I didn't want to bore you. We are now finished with the developer and I'm going to be pouring it back into its storage container. Second step, stop bath. Fill up the Patterson with stop bath, invert once and let it sit for 30 seconds. You do whatever you want to do when you have 30 seconds to spare. Just like with the developer, back in storage the stop bath goes. Third step, exchange the water in order to get off any remaining stop bath. We're going to be doing that by filling the Patterson tank to the brim. We shall do that three times just like this. One, two, three. Back to chemicals we go. Fourth step, bleach. Pour bleach into the Patterson tank. Invert continuously for 10 seconds. Then, start your timer for three minutes. Following that, do four inversions every 30 seconds. As you can tell, developing is a lot of mixing and waiting around. With our bleach part done, put it back into the storage just like with the others. Fifth step, we are going back to the sink to rinse off any excess bleach by exchanging the water three times yet again. Sixth step, fixer. With all the film rinsed, add the fixer to the Patterson and invert continuously for 10 seconds. Then, start your timer for 2 minutes and 30 and invert four times every 30 seconds and while you do that, catch some zen because you are almost done. With that, we are finished with the fixer. Seventh step, the final rinse. Bring your Patterson tank over to the sink for the last time and let the water run in it for five minutes to rinse out any residual fixer. Final step, stabilizer. Throw in the stabilizer and let it soak for a singular minute. Once that's done, put it back in the container from whence it came. All right, the stabilizer is all done. It's been a minute, we emptied it out. Now, let's open this boy up and see what we have here. And there we go. We have photos. Now, we still need to hang this up and let it dry for a little bit here, around an hour or two. Go on, let's go hang that up. As a final note, wash your Patterson to clean off any excess stabilizer. And with some time passed, our film roll is completely dry and ready to be viewed. Now, you're still gonna wanna be careful here as some dust and debris can still get on the negatives, so just be mindful about that. And looking at this negative right here, I can tell you some good news and some bad news. So why don't we take a look at some of these frames and see how we did. Let's start with the bad news. With these photos, no editing has been done besides a simple color inversion. As you can see, these aren't the most optimal photos ever taken, and it definitely appears that something is off about these negatives. I can pinpoint the exact moment where I made this grave error. Remember when I said to practice rolling your film while in the dark bag? Well, I wasn't lying. See, when I tried putting it on the reel, 
the first half of the film roll came undone and I started to panic. The film was loose in the dark bag, causing the negatives to smudge against each other. In this hysteria, I was also touching the actual negatives, not the edges of the film. I even forced some of the film on the reel, causing scratches and creases on the negative. The result of that disaster cocktail are these lovely images right here. But guess what? There's still good news, as I only screwed up rolling the first half. Once I finally figured out rolling the mess that I made, I had no troubles with the last half of the film, where I got perfectly usable negatives free from any problems like the first few photos. That means that development and chemical wise, I did everything perfectly just by following directions included in the kit. And I gotta say, I am very pleased with these last photos on the reel, especially that it was my first role that I've ever developed. And that marks the end of our development journey. We learned what instruments you need to develop film, how to mix this C41 kit, and how to actually go ahead and use those chemicals in that kit to develop film. This kit right here made it super easy, simple, and straightforward, even for an idiot like me to follow. Whether you've been in the development game long or you're just starting, this kit is a must. Hopefully you were able to learn from my mistakes and you continue to develop film on your own. I used to think there was no need to develop film at home, but now I see how easy and rewarding it is when you actually look at the negative that you shot and developed yourself. And it would appear that that's the end of the video. Thanks for coming along this development journey with us. My name's Dalton, that's Sean, and happy developing.